Presidents, uh, dear citizens in the United Kingdom, I don't know how often during the last years we discussed on this vote going to come soon, probably. And uh, nobody doubts that uh, this vote is the vote of the citizens of the United Kingdom. But since it is about the European Union, it matters for all of us. And uh, to be honest, I sometimes don't know whether in the United Kingdom everybody is aware of the fact that the result of the vote will matter for millions of citizens across the European Union. So you decide, you decide in the, in the United Kingdom, but I think it's, it's very important, it's very important that uh, you know that the majority of citizens across the European Union, not only the Germans, want the UK to stay in the European Union. So how to, how to exchange, how to achieve an honest exchange on this issue in between citizens of UK and citizens in the European Union? For me, it's also since we discussed recently on Poland, before we discussed on Hungary, before we had years yeah, on discussions on values of the European Union in the context of Greece and the Euro crisis, for me it's again one of those moments where we have really to talk, to talk Europe, to talk about Europe, where we came from, for example. And this is very simple to say we came from, we really came from war, we achieved peace. And so looking to the east, looking to the east, looking to the south, looking to our neighborhood, don't forget uh, what we really achieved. Where are we? So looking to the Minsk agreement, looking to the Iran deal, looking to the climate deal achieved in Paris recently. So the European strength is visible again and again, looking to challenges uh, still ahead, Syria, growing terrorism, ha soon probably 100 millions of refugees globally. So what you really say in the UK, all those challenges you will deal better with outside of the European Union. So sorry, you, you shout. But shouting is not at all about arguments. Yesterday, yesterday my colleague Smith yeah, from UK, from Scotland, he said, let's, let's look uh, so the, the wood and not only the trees. So let's become serious about what keeps us, us together. Um, I have... Uh, I have one idea. I don't know whether it's a, a too small idea or it, it, it's, it's maybe not convincing, but when I go home, when I go home to my region and I can't go often, I sit together with my neighbors. I have a cup of tea. We are talking about our gardens and we are talking about Europe. And uh, so let's be honest. There must be more exchange in between the citizens of UK and us. And so invite us for this famous cup of tea. Let's create possibilities before the vote to really talk about lilies, about roses. I like to do it as a gardener. I, and I, I really appreciate uh, the Britons oh, as the um, nation of gardeners. But let's create true, true situations to talk about like. us about the Britons and about Europe. Thank, Thank you arms. for your attention. For Harms. Mrs. Harms. The, the Earl of Dartmouth, had the the Earl of Dartmouth has a question British. for you. Uh, thank you very much for taking the uh, uh, question. Um, the, what Donald Tusk, the president, president of the Council, has described as the UK's 
emergency break on benefits requires a majority in the European Parliament. Will you and your group be voting for the emergency break on benefits? <laughs> so, you can be sure that uh, especially my colleague Jean Lambert, as she always did, will try to achieve as at its best social responsibility on the European level. Uh, the idea of the social Europe yeah, has its cradle in my group and Jean Lambert, well known also in the UK context, you can trust in her that she takes care of all the social issues.